Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to extend an image in Adobe Photoshop. This can turn something from this into this. This is a really cool feature in Photoshop. It's all procedurally done. You won't have to manually create anything here. It's a really, really cool feature. And today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to recreate it. Let's jump right into this. So to do this, what we're going to need to do is open up Photoshop with any image open up at the moment. So what we're going to be doing is extending this image and Photoshop is going to be automatically creating more information and filling out the picture. So to actually do this, what we're going to be doing is coming to the left to our tools. We're going to be looking for the crop tool right here. We're going to be clicking this open. And then on the top, what we're going to be making sure is selected is the content aware checkbox right here. Now, what this is going to do is allow Photoshop to content aware, create extra space and information. So what we're going to be doing is extending our image a little bit on both sides using the crop tool. In this case, we don't have to be super accurate with how far we come out for this example. But once we have our image extended a bit, what we can do is simply click enter on our keyboard and you will see Photoshop will automatically create and fill information here, which extends the image out. Now, in this case, on the right side, it actually does a pretty decent job, apart from the slightly jagged edge here. And on the left, we have a slight issue here as well. However, in the terms of the overall image, this could easily be like this because it's such a blurred out background that this looks really cool. And if you just need to extend your image a little bit for whatever use you're using, maybe on a website or on a video, this can be a really, really cool effect. Now where this can be a little bit more of an issue is if you try to go too extreme. So in this case, I only went a little bit on the left and the right. However, if I try to go a lot more on the left and the right like this, for example, and we click enter, Photoshop can get a little bit confused and try to stretch out the wrong elements. And hopefully you will see an example of that right now. You can see a part of the girl in the subject here is over on the right. We've got a lot of weird distortion and issues. So this is where it can be a little bit complex. So as long as you take this issue with a grain of salt, you can get some really cool effects. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to extend an image in Adobe Photoshop. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.